Hi and welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I'm in Huntington Beach, California. I am at a place called Old World Village and I uh, just discovered this place uh, looking for things to do in Huntington Beach and uh, I was quite surprised when I got here to see the level of um, theming that's developed here. And basically the concept of the place is that it has a um, German theme to it and it sort of has this uh, old world feel uh, to it as you'll see from the uh, images and video and also as you can tell from the name of it and um, so a, a lot to see here so let's um, go around and take a look here at Old World Village in Huntington Beach. Okay so what I want to do here is to give you some voiceover um, on top of the video that I took with the GoPro during my visit to Old World Village and um, just some background on this site it was originally built in 1978 and you'll see a little bit later one of the unique things about this space in addition to its theming is the fact that it has um, an approach that we call today mixed use and so you have a combination of retail and housing and of course um, well after the uh, late 70s 80s we had more and more malls uh, develop this approach and have uh, a mixed use um, ideology in terms of thinking about how to approach space. So in a sense you could say Old World Village is certainly ahead of its time. Now right here we see the German Beer Hall and um, what you might uh, recognize then is that in terms of their approach to theming they've taken um, you know some of the key symbols and notions and and uh, uh, concepts that we have of various cultures and, and given us them here. Uh, now the other thing you might note is that uh, this was uh, my visit to the Old World Village was during the week but it certainly wasn't um, an off time and I was somewhat surprised I guess that it was so desolate. You see here on the right a church and from what I could tell this is a fully functioning church that has uh, services a few days out of the week uh, in English and also in German. You can see here that they have the cobblestone street, they have a very I think distinctive and consistent approach to architecture, to decor. One of the things you'll note throughout the uh, buildings as we walk through the community here is that they have these murals on the outside of the walls and I guess on the one hand these provide a sense of picturesque charm and on the other hand I felt that as I'm pointing out some of the features here to my wife who also visited Old World Village on this day um, I, I found that some of these features maybe were um, too I don't want to say over the top but maybe too obvious in terms of uh, what they represent so let's look a little more closely here at some of the other features in this uh, interesting themed community and what we're seeing here is the uh, hotel in the community and I didn't get a chance to uh, go inside but I just wanted to uh, take a look at the signage and you can actually see here you're not going to get a good close-up but I'm pointing out the um, different shops and locations and in this uh, in this sense you have um, a map that certainly seems like um, the type of map you'd see in a theme park in terms of showing us all the different um, spaces available now I'll talk about this later but one of the things you'll note is that there are some fairly eclectic shops here in Old World Village and in one of the articles I read about this interesting uh, mixed use community there was a note that in the CCNRs of the community there's no nothing that dictates the type of store the type of retail shop that um, can open up and also uh, nothing that dictates how um, it operates in terms of its hours and so forth. And I'm pointing out here then one of the more interesting shops and this is I guess what you could call a new age um, space, a new age retail shop that has, um, uh, I didn't get a chance to go inside but, but from what I read it has a lot of connections maybe to uh, other cultures not necessarily European or Germanic cultures that are represented uh, mostly in the theming of Old World Village. Now I guess what's significant then is maybe we have a contrast between the theming and between what some of the residents desire in the community who own homes here as you'll see coming up in, in some of the shots and what the businesses happen to be and um, how often they're open and so forth. And I did note quite a few 
closed businesses or businesses that weren't open or had signs, you know, the typical gone fishing, come back at, at 3 p.m. or whatever. And so I think as a themed mall and mixed use community, maybe this presents some problems. And I, I noted some of these in terms of some of the articles I read about the history of Old World Village, as well as uh, social media sites on Facebook and Yelp and so forth. And actually we're coming up here on the edge of the community and I believe I'll take you around here in a second. And it's interesting, so this community is buttressed on all sides by other forms of retail. And I'll show you a bit later the Costco that's just across the street and also the modern mall that is also across the street. So uh, just here, I believe we're going to see sort of exiting the community. So these are the mailboxes. So again, it's showing you that this is actually a community that there are residents who live here and so forth. Here, I had a chance to look at um, some of the notes about their homeowners uh, meetings. And uh, I did note in some readings that some residents were concerned about the decline in, in the retail and were also um, maybe a bit happy, I guess, as we look at some of the uh, storage uh, facilities here for the residents, a bit happy with the fact that maybe the tourism was down and there weren't so many people on the streets because I can imagine if you lived here, and there was a lot of hustle and bustle, one might get annoyed with uh, that fact. And so it's an interesting, I guess, um, paralleling or trade-off when you think about the need to have tourists and to have people shopping here, shoppers visiting the shops and restaurants. And at the same time, if you live in this community, you clearly wouldn't want um, your everyday life to be uh, surrounded by loud people and uh, you know people drinking beer at the restaurants and so forth so it's probably a trade-off I guess in a sense for residents of Old World Village and you may have just noticed there at the clock shop again this was the middle of the day uh, there was a close sign on the door so I, I did wonder about um, the lack of vibrancy at Old World Village now on the other hand I will say as we look at some of the um, gardens of some of the residents here uh, just forward uh, on the camera and also to my left um, there is a certain charm here and even though uh, it was relatively empty on the day of my visit i felt that there were charming aspects of this community and i have to say that i, I had never heard of old world village and it's another example of calling social media and the internet and discovering something that was entirely surprising um, i didn't expect to see this in, in huntington beach and uh, I was quite surprised at the fact that uh, this had been open since 1978. Now, I'll show you a little bit later as well. Um, you'll note here, I believe that's a mural of, of Heidelberg. A lot of the buildings have references to German cities, Berlin, Heidelberg, um, perhaps Frankfurt. And at the same time, as you'll see later, there are murals of Scotland. There's a, a sort of quintessential English phone booth so I did wonder about the theming and it seemed like it wasn't just Germanic but it was any kind of old world here's the Scotland sign there on this uh, building wall I did start to wonder about the consistency of the theming and perhaps over time what they did was they took away reference from just Germany and added it to other European countries which could create more opportunities for business tie-ins and also more opportunities for international tourists or anyone really who's interested in cultures beyond Germanic cultures. Now let me just leave um, the images from the community a little bit and talk a little bit about an issue that uh, developed in the uh, 2000s. There was a story done uh, in um, I believe is in the Orange County Register about some of the problems you see here 2009 some of the problems that began to um, develop at Old World Village and in particular skinheads for some reason had flocked to this uh, place and they had uh, hassled a Jewish merchant as you can read here from the story uh, and I found this quite curious because you know there's this interesting interplay of theming and culture but for the most part we don't think of um, this kind of association with particular hate groups and in those cultures. So uh, I, I found that quite interesting as I was delving into the history of Old World Village. But to go back to some of the sites here that you see from the community, again I think what is entirely remarkable about this place, Old World Village, is the fact that it still exists. Uh, the fact that it did 
as I say, um, usher in some interesting developments in terms of mixed use space. And I also found it curious that they took the approach that they did in terms of the theming here. Um, I think it's also kind of rare to see a mall entirely themed, and here we see the example from England again, perhaps um, a different side of the old world uh, extending throughout Europe. Again, we're seeing the Maypole here and a bit of Germany and the Beer Hall. But what I think is, is interesting is theming an entire mall based on um, European culture. And as I've studied theming over the years, it occurred to me too that perhaps the lack of tourists and visitors and shoppers in this space uh, is, is a fact of, of theming being a, somewhat on a decline in terms of people not appreciating, unfortunately, uh, place-based theming, particularly theming like this that has, won't say a literal place association, but a fairly clear place association. I wanted to focus on this image just a bit. I showed it to you in my video tour earlier. And I guess in the way of a bit of a concern, I would offer that, you know, I totally get the point of this to have the beer hall and, you know, the women in the and the men in the traditional uh, dress and lighterhosen and so forth. But um, some concerns I would have just in terms of how this maybe lends itself too much to stereotyping. I found it interesting that one of the events they have at Old World Village is um, wiener dog races. Again, you can kind of make your own judgments and conclusions about that. Um, as we look at a few more images here, uh, I guess what I would offer to you is that this is somewhat of an anachronistic place, I guess I would say, as we look here at the images of the old church. Anachronistic in the sense that uh, we probably wouldn't expect a place like this to exist uh, any longer. And in fact, you can see in the distance there the image of the Costco. And I guess for me, this image of the Costco just uh, in the background suggests to me uh, metaphorically the place of Old World Village in the contemporary world. I think in a world of strip malls and box stores and even the Las Vegas Strip moving away from place-based theming, uh, we see places like this, Old World Village, as entirely perhaps unfortunately anachronistic, uh, hearkening back to the past and maybe losing some of their charm in the present because of the influx, the growth, the invasion, if you will, of other forms of consumerism and theming or non-theming in the world. So I hope you enjoyed this video feature today here at Old World Village in Huntington Beach and please come back for additional video features of the Immersive World's Handbook.